Good morning guys, welcome to Bangkok once again. I fixed my sunglasses. Today we're heading to central Bangkok. We're gonna check out a market. We're maybe gonna go on a boat and potentially it's our last night at the weird hostel place. Well, no, it is our last night. It is our last night. Tomorrow we're going to Koh Tao. Uh, we're doing an overnight coach bus deal. We're escaping the city and we'll rendezvous with Dylan once we get there. I don't know who Dylan is, it's Pickle. Oh yeah, sorry, Pickle. There's a guy in a tiny boat over there. The big boat's going past him, he's getting slushed around. Let's take a moment to appreciate the creaky pier. Damn tourist. Says the guy with the massive camera out. We've decided to be healthy because, uh, well, I'm getting fat. So instead of getting a taxi, we've decided to walk. And we've chosen the wrong time of day once again. Every time we leave, it's always midday. And it's outrageously hot. There is a breeze up here, yeah. But we're only up here for about four minutes. You booking the Koh Tao accommodation? How many nights? Um, five. Five nights? Yeah. Sweet. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube tubes. People in Bangkok sure like to walk slowly. There's a lot of dawdling getting in the way. No, we come all the way here and it's closed. <laughs> he just keeps hitting himself in the head. Look at this. Look at this. We're going on a Percy Pig hunt. <laughs> no way, they actually have him. Yeah. Are we going to buy him? We've got to buy him, really. They are 135 baht. Oh my god. Great, yeah. Oh my. Looks like we found a pretty sweet vegan restaurant for lunch and the food is about 50, 60 baht a piece which is super cheap. That's like a pound for a whole meal. So I managed to successfully order green curry in a place where they speak no English. Are you impressed? Very impressed. Uh, have faint and believe in yourself. You're the stylish. Back to basic. There's a drawn behind your sweet. Half foo, half girl. Let's see. No, they look cool. Are you sure about that? Yeah, you can pull them off. I don't know. Many also good but like yeah exactly <laughs> so that was actually quite successful the first shopping shopping trip we've been on where we've actually bought stuff look i have a hat that's not crumpled and squashed like my other hats have got since coming on this trip jesus christ I'm trying to vlog and there's like 20 buses driving past because yeah the thai markets are, are crazy it is 90 percent obviously fake branded stuff and the quality is amazing and the price is a uh, well it's ridiculous i mean this hat this is a good quality snapback hat that says new york on it fuck knows if that's a brand uh and it was three pounds and that was without haggling really you know i got him down by 20 baht but you could definitely get a lot more off i just can't believe the market's still going and they haven't been stopped from selling all the fake stuff like the rumors are true Ooh. what are these buses Anyone in the comments know? They're like huge souped up buses that make an outrageous amount of noise. And we're not exactly sure what they're, what's it all about. Yeah. Are you enjoying this lovely quiet park next to a massive main road? Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, I'm looking to see whether one of those buses is the bus today. The closest thing you get to peace in Bangkok we get food as well as a snack we get a bathroom we get aircon we get tv and we get a steward wow all on the bus we need to go to moo 8 moo 8 moo 8 uh, no such thing as peace and quiet after a quick bit of googling it's evident that tomorrow's bus isn't one of the crazy souped up fast and the furious ones i'm very disappointed it's too hot Look at yeah. this, it's like we're so just... Hey? Why? You remind me about our shit bus. Oh, says hummus. That one says hummus? Yeah. Steps in Thailand feel really dangerous. Like slightly off camber. Tilting you forward to your impending doom. Another Thai observation. All of the dogs are really fat. We've been looking at boat tours and we've asked around and the thing is they're just all a massive rip-off. 
They're quoting a thousand each for an hour of just moseying up and down the river and we're paying less than that to get all the way to Koh Tao and admittedly it's not a trip. Oh. Admittedly it's not a tourist thing but... Oh that's disgusting. Oh. Coke and Mentos. Are you going to mix them together and make a giant make romance explosion? Not yeah. Yeah. I'm still not convinced. I think they look good. Eh. Bleh. People are taking the shortcut. <laughs> The best thing about the shortcut is it has kittens and puppies. It does have kittens and puppies. There's a guy just shaving and having a haircut in the street. Can we please take him home? No. But look! Uh, he's very sweet, but... No. We're just heading back to the big old bridge. I'm gonna try and take some photos there, because it's a pretty cool location. And they might be lighting it up soon, because it's getting dark. Right, we're heading to the massive lit up bridge. Uh, this is a classic example of me not doing my research. I have no idea what this bridge is called. It's named after one of the kings. Hmm. Oh. I keep stepping on like snail sticks. Whoa, what? The things we stumble into. Grilled vegetarian bowl? Yeah, so That's we cannibalism. been on in Thailand. Are you sure? We went on so many good bridges yesterday. Oh, we did go on loads of interesting bridges yesterday, but they were all about 20 meters long. Now time for some curry. After eating, I think Jordan's around, so we're going to try and meet up with him too. Traveling the world, what essentials do I need? A neck flute. How excited are you for curry? That was an amazing Indian meal. We've definitely both missed Indian food. We're gonna have a wonder now. Let's see Kosan Road by night. Whoa! <laughs> oh, you have to buy it now. That is really cool, actually. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> First time! <laughs> this is perfect for the soundtrack right now. <laughs>